Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I wanted to come on here really quick and um, instead of doing a inspiration on this morning, I want to do something a little different. Um, I want to talk to you guys on this morning about a few things. So on this morning in my prayer time, I was talking to God and he had started to explain to me how a lot of times nowadays we want parts of him we don't want all of him we want parts of him and the parts that we usually want is the parts that are promises of great things um of great tangible things but god was saying on this morning he said i don't want my people to just want me for the tangible i don't want my people to just want me for the basics and the surface of things. I want you all. I want you to want me for the things of the deep. For the things of the deep. The things that are spiritual. Not just the things that are tangible. But the things that are spiritual. The things that tell you well done my good and faithful servant. The things that tell you I am proud of you. You are making great decisions. You are walking accordingly to what I've said. You have been obedient servant. These are the things that God is saying. I want my people to desire of me. I want my people to understand that I am a protector. That I am a great God. I'm a protector. I am a, 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 I'm, I'm more than just the giver, but I'm a protector, I'm a coverer, oh, robo shataya, I'm a consoler, oko mama man, soko robo shataya debe shetege me o robo saya. God is 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 a God that can assist you in all of your areas. He's not a God that is just saying, I want to just give you something all the time. He's a God that says, I want to sit down and commune with you. He's a God that says, I want to sit here and I just want to hold you today. Some of us, sometimes we, 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 we seek for things that are, are not always godly, but things that are, that are, that are, so, okay, 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 let me try to explain this the best way that I know how. We are seeking things, not just the fleshly things, like fleshly things that are bad, but we're seeking fleshly things that the flesh wants us to have. Like, we want to be touched like touch, or we want to be hugged like hug. But God said, I can, oh, robo shataya, naman soko, robo shataya. I can do those things. But you got to change your idea of what I'm able and capable of doing. If you change your idea of what I am able and capable of doing, you'll begin to understand that I'm capable of touching you right where you need to be touched. You will understand that I'm able to hug you. When you are down, I am able to sit there and rub your back and tell you, baby, it's going to be okay. But you got to change your outlook on how you see me. Because if you only see me as the provider, that's all you'll be able to receive from me is just pro provisions. Provision of things. But God is saying, I have something greater than just provisions. I am a God that loves you so much. But do you love me back? Do you love me the same way that I love you? Do you love me unconditionally? Do you love me without condition? That if I choose not to do nothing else for you today, you still love me, says God. Oh, robo shata yana man soko bobo bo shotoko saya. Oh God, so we on today, God, we change our posture. We change our posture on today and we say, God, I love you without condition. I love you without condition because you've proven yourself over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again to me. That you don't have to do nothing for me. 
but it's because of your grace and your mercy you choose to and I say thank you on today oh God but if you stop doing everything that you've done for me I'll still serve you I'll still worship you I'll still love you oh God and I'll remain in a posture of serving whatever you tell me to serve Can we get back there? Can we get back to that place? If you are touching and agreeing with me on this morning, with this word right here, I reassure you that God is about to blow your mind. I reassure you as a prophet of God, that God is about to blow your mind, not of the tangible, but of the spirit. The things that you can't go out here and look for. The things that you can't go out here and buy. The things that you can't go out here and invest in. And how about this? God said, I don't even need you to sow a seed. I'm going to do it, says God. I'm going to do God, I say thank you on the behalf of the people. I say thank you, God. Because our faith level has changed on this morning. And it only took seven minutes. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. Have an amazing day on purpose. Because you are greater than you can ever imagine. Hallelujah. Talk to you guys later.